Well, two wants to know is looking at numbers and we're talking unemployment. Out of luck, out of work, for millions, the Great Depression, it no longer seems like a bygone era. In 10 weeks, 40.7 million Americans have filed jobless claims. That's more claims filed in the previous 178 weeks combined. Think of it this way. If you took every man, woman, and child living in New York City, LA, and Chicago, and then you multiplied them, not by two, but by three, you'd have about the same number of people who have filed claims since the start of this. Ever since the days of World War II, U.S. unemployment has risen and dropped slowly, gradually, revealing recessions and periodic descents followed by ascents, not one of which touched double digits until April. That's when the U.S. recorded the largest one-month percentage increase in our history. It was a shock to the American economic system, a shock felt so acutely over such a short period of time. Congress then decided it was simply too much for too many to handle. Before all of this, the average weekly unemployment uninsurance benefit was around $388, or 40% of what the unemployed on average would have earned before they lost their jobs. In March, Congress agreed to add $600 to that to make weekly payments roughly the same amount that the average worker would make pre-pandemic. Now basically, what he or she earned before, they receive now via the government. Problem is, state unemployment programs are running out of money and quickly. At least nine states, including North Carolina, have already reached insolvency and have asked to borrow money from the feds to backfill their own funds. More will follow. Come the end of July, that $600 bump in payments is, as of now, set to expire, leaving tens of millions with an unenviable conundrum. Try and find a job in a market filled with tens of millions of new and desperate competitors or settle in. So what does a state do for money for unemployment funds when they run low? Well, they borrow from the federal unemployment account. Business Insider found that North Carolina borrowed $2.8 billion in 2009 to pay unemployment claims from the Great Recession. The state came up with that money by adding a 20% surcharge to its unemployment tax and by cutting unemployment payouts and benefits. The loan was not paid back until 2015.